Hello friends, uh, today I am going to discuss a topic which is very important at any level because PowerPoint presentation has become a kind of ritual these days for academic purpose as well as professionalism. Now, how to give a very powerful oral presentation that is a million dollar question, how to prepare because death by PowerPoint is a term that shows that how a person lost himself or herself while giving presentation and this is very very much there in almost all institution, organization, even universities and colleges. So, let us discuss today what is the term death by PowerPoint. Because when we discuss interpersonal skill, death by PowerPoint is very, very important. What is PowerPoint? That is the first question. Presentations using PowerPoint software consist of a number of individual pages or slides. The slide analogy is a reference to the slide projector. Slides may contain text, graphics, sound, movies and other objects which may be arranged freely. The presentation can be printed, displayed live on a computer or navigated through at the command of the presenter. It all sounds great, however, there is one phenomenon rapidly unfolding with PowerPoint and it is not a good one. In fact, it is probably one of the biggest problems facing public speaking in business, in education and in public life. Death by PowerPoint is a phenomenon caused by the poor use of said visual aid. Key contributors to death by PowerPoint include confusing graphics, slides with too much text, bad clip art and tiny font and presenters whose idea of a good presentation is to read the content of their slides allowed to their audience. What is, what kind of problem it is? Why is it a problem when we have a very latest technology with us and perhaps we all are equipped with? So, this is a very pertinent question that why is it a problem? Communication experts say that PowerPoint has gone from being a presentation aid to a dependency. If someone has a presentation due tomorrow, the tendency is to just start dumping information onto slides and then wing the talk to people part. The resulting presentation has no core message no central theme, no planning and no rehearsal. As such, all the important steps outlined in how to prepare a speech are missed. That is to say the very core idea of to connect through a speech. PowerPoint can undoubtedly be a useful presentation tool, no doubt, because visual presentation is always very interesting. But a presenter who is too reliant on a slide deck can quickly put his or her audience to sleep. This is also a fact. When presenters use PowerPoint as a script or document of text, it becomes a barrier between them 
and the audience not an aid. A barrier to connection, interaction and engagement. Death by PowerPoint is a phenomenon caused by a very loose kind of presentation and very casual and I mean uh, a very impractical kind of thing. Key contributors to death by PowerPoint include confusing graphics, too much of slide and whose idea of a good presentation is to read 40 slides out loud. That is just a mechanical way to read out slide without caring for the audience, how they are taking it, whether there is any interest or not. Death by PowerPoint is easily recognized by observing the audience members glazed eyes. Futive use of smartphones and trips to the bathroom. When an audience remains emotionally disconnected from the content that is being presented, there is a good chance that the speaker has either not spent enough time and effort thinking about which key points he wants the audience to take away or he has spent entirely too much time and effort getting up the presentation in PowerPoint incorporating every feature and display option the software provides. That why PowerPoint can be avoided if the speaker uses the technology as a visual aid to enhance what is being said. Instead of relying on the technology to serve as the focus of the presentation. According to some estimates, there are as many as 300 million PowerPoint users and a mammoth 30 million PowerPoint presentations are made on a daily basis. It does not require any one of us to have an IQ of 200 to know how messed up most of these presentations tend to be leading to the phenomenon of death by PowerPoint. As is obvious from the term itself, death by PowerPoint, death by PowerPoint implies a really bad presentation, very bad loose presentation. This might include text, heavy slides, confusing graphics, a presenter reading out 50 slides before a yawning audience or even a dysfunctional slide deck marred by technical glitches and the inability of the presenter to copy with the presser of presenting his or her slides. To make it simple, that by PowerPoint refers to a boring sleep inducing presentation, which suffers from poor use of presentation software, especially PowerPoint. However, the term might also be loosely associated with other presentation applications to highlight a horrible presentation in general. Now, the term death by PowerPoint, how it was coined, occurred in the society and used frequently by the technical world. It is believed that the term death by PowerPoint was coined by Angela R. Garber who talked about everything that can go wrong with PowerPoint presentations due to its inefficient use. Inefficient use, however, it is likely that people had already realized the potential 
of power point to cause deadly boredom way before her findings were acknowledged. In fact, people might have realized this back in 1987 when Robert Gaskins introduced PowerPoint. PowerPoint rangers and military access, I mean over the PowerPoint actually this sound a, a death by PowerPoint something from you know army area, military area. So, what it is all about? Over the years, PowerPoint has had its fair share of critics and another term worth mentioning here is PowerPoint range. It was acknowledged by some US military officials that PowerPoint was a tool that wasted time and was counterproductive in military planning. Due to its utility, some junior officers spent too much time developing PowerPoint slides for mission briefings mocked as PowerPoint rangers. This caused some generals to ban the use of PowerPoint, most notably Brigadier General Herbert McMaster. Well, I am I'm just describing you that actually the, uh, the base of death of PowerPoint, how it occurs, how the conception was developed. Hence, death by PowerPoint is not the only term used to criticize badly made PowerPoint slide decks or the excessive use of PowerPoint slide. Now, the very pertinent question that how to avoid death by PowerPoint. When we talk of death by PowerPoint, there should be some um, ways to avoid it. Because we all know that in the present world, PowerPoint presentation has become a fashion. It is the part of our day to day life and as I said earlier, that whether it is a student or the professional, they all have to present a PowerPoint presentation to get success in life. While it is easy to criticize a car manufacturer when there is an accident, the driver too needs to be held accountable. It is not only manufacturer who is responsible, but the driver also who was driving the car. So, the question is that well the technology is very I mean latest, but how to handle those technology is also very important. Being an IT professional, someone who has been testing PowerPoint and presentation tools for more than half a decade and has been using PowerPoint since the age of 8 years. I can tell you with experience that PowerPoint is hardly to blame for bad presentation. So, what is important that it is not PowerPoint that is a technology that is responsible for the death by PowerPoint. To a large extent it is the person the presenter who is also responsible for a bad presentation. In fact, there is a still no perfect alternative to PowerPoint. Some readers might be quick to point towards Keynote, which has file formats not even accessible via major operating systems, let alone apps for desktop and mobile platforms. Then there is Prezi, which no one likes paying for and those suggesting Google Slides as an alternative should try making business diagrams or inserting media to slide to see how useful it really is. Whether you love it or hate it, 
the chances are you will be using it. That pretty much sums up the universal need for PowerPoint that millions of users tend to have. Even in the classroom teachers are using PowerPoint and they feel comfortable with it because they can show a number of examples which is very difficult sometime to write on the board and which consume time as well. But even then why we use death by PowerPoint? Well, if we need to avoid death by PowerPoint, there are certain ways. What are those ways? The very first important thing is set the goal. Before preparing PowerPoint, what is required that you think of the theme, the base, the foregrounding of your talk that will certainly help you even the time. Establish the presentation goal or objective and target this throughout the preparation of the presentation. Never deviate from your goal, from the thesis statement, from the main line, do not deviate. Otherwise, you will lose yourself in nowhere. Be clear on the one key action or result you can deliver as a takeaway for meeting participants. A sure way to create a bold audience is to have them wondering what is the point uh, or why do I care. If technology is important, your voice, your interpretation, your style of deliverance of talk, everything is important. Setting the goal next is to create a plan. How to create a plan to present the talk? Design the presentation first, write it. I have also seen now these days students have lost the habit of writing and that has become a big limitations. Writing noting down is very very helpful. So, before designing the presentation first write it, diagram it on a whiteboard or on a paper also create an outline, build a mind map or choose another useful way to organize what you want to present and how you want to do it. There should be no more than three five main ideas in any one presentation. Then look to see where you can add PowerPoint to reinforce the message. Never think that the entire discussion is based on PowerPoint. The entire discussion is based on your speech or physical gesture and posture. PowerPoint is a supportive tool to make your talk more interesting. Keep in mind a slide deck is not a presentation and the presentation does not have to be delivered exclusively with PowerPoint. Move detailed content to a place where your audience members can actually benefit from the reference. A handout or resource manual, your organization, intranet or cloud or a website. Make sure the flow and structure of your plan includes clear logical sections for each key topic. For example, by adding a title slide for each main section. If you gave the heading to every section, it is going to make your task clear and also easy to audience to understand the very motto of the talk. By adding a title uh, slide for each main section is going to 
make clear all your discussion. A confused audience is a disconnected audience. Clarity of thought that should be there in your presentation most of the time. But many of them get lost in translation, something that can be easily avoided to present better presentations. Moreover, there are also some technical aspects worth considering to avoid failing to deliver at your moment of truth. Remember the KISS rule. This is a very important point to make your PowerPoint powerful. KISS rule, K-I-S-S. -S -S. The KISS rule which means keep it simple stupid. K-I-S-S. -S -S. Keep it simple stupid. Implies that systems that are simple work best. It is a design principle that has its history in the US Navy. However, it is also famously attributed to presentations and rightly so. So, remember the case rule that is to say that while making your PowerPoint presentation keep it simple. Stupid means simple, very uh, I mean clear to the audience. By applying the KISS rule, you can ensure that your presentations are not stopped with unnecessary content and that you can present more information using less content. In other words, do not complicate your slide, keep them simple and easy to present. Also make sure that your content can be simple enough to be easily understood by audience. Sometimes what happen, I mean people insert different kind of things that is not directly related to their talk, but to make their presentation very, very heavy, they do it. And what is the result then? The result is that the audience get baffled and lost in the darkness, confusion. So, it is better to keep slide that is simple and very clear. Do not stuff your slide, follow the 166 rule, do not stuff unnecessary. One of the biggest reasons for death by PowerPoint includes a stuffing slide, usually with a lot of text. Avoid text heavy slide. You can try using not more than 6 lines with 6 words per line which some consider as a standard practice for making PowerPoint slide. Keep this rule in your mind. Follow the 166 rule. Some call for the 1 hyphen 6 hyphen 6 rule that is each slide should contain a single idea, 6 bullet points and not more than 6 word per line. Keep in mind very important. Each slide should contain a single idea, 6 bullet points and not more than 6 words per line. There is also a 1-5-5 and 1-7-7 rule and so on. Either way, keeping it brief makes slide easier to follow and can help prevent death by PowerPoint. As we are discussing how to, how to uh, give a very good PowerPoint presentation, how to avoid death by PowerPoint. Next is KIFT, K-I-F-T. 
what does it mean keep it fast paced gift keep it fast paced another rule worth following for your powerpoint slide is to keep them fast paced keep 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 it fast paced means that you need not to dwell too much into details where it is not required well even you can speak of the main point and that's it people will understand but if you read line by line unnecessary things naturally it will cause boredom to the audience keep your slides and sub topics moving quickly or your audience will lose interest getting into semantics that is meaning can cause boredom among your audience and make them lose interest don't give a presentation with preoccupied notion that audience is full or audience i mean is very very fast you have to give the detail but in a very scientific way use animations and transitions with modesty animations are a great choice and you can always make use of animated powerpoint templates to make your presentations more visually appealing however excessive use of animations and transitions can result in a number of issues including confusing slides system hangs and a side deck that move slower than a turtle so animation and transition with modesty very important it will make a kind of visual appealing and force the audience to involve into your presentation while you can simply do away with the prospect of using animations to keep things simple however if you do feel confident enough to use them make sure you don't forget the virtues of modesty use the right powerpoint templates powerpoint templates are a blessings to have that is a fact any technology is there to help us now how we take those technology for our use and for the benefit of human society that is important and for that we well equipped with the technology knowing that as i gave you the example that driving a car and meeting with an accident doesn't mean that there is a fault in the car or the manufacturer rather it is the fault of the driver who doesn't or who fails to drive the car technically correct similarly we have a number of templates technology and we have this blessings of powerpoint template but how do we use it that is our perception and our expertise so to give a good kind of presentation what is required that we practice we learn we see different kind of power presentation even know the limitations and the lacuna while giving a powerpoint presentation and always try to improve one's powerpoint presentation so friends i think that you will keep all these things in your mind very seriously never take powerpoint presentation something very casual and light thing always take it a very very serious kind of thing 
because you are giving your presentation and PowerPoint is only a supportive technology to your talk. That is it. So, this is my request that before giving a PowerPoint presentation, write down important points. The foregrounding, the content in bullet and as I said that keep very less object on the slide. If it is with heavy traffic, the slide is full of heavy traffic, well it will create boredom and some kind of annoyance. So, friend I think that for today it is uh, uh, ok fine, you must have received some important points. Next time I am going to discuss some more important factor to avoid death by PowerPoint. Till then goodbye, see you again, thank you very much.